Hey, this is Dr. B, and let's discuss antivirals. These are medications that treat viruses, and viruses can be nasty. I think of them as nature's little genetic hijackers. They're tiny. They're in the nanomolar range. And people say tiny because they usually get compared to antibacterials, which you can see under a microscope. These are at the molecular level, very, very small substances. They will invade a host, anything that has DNA or RNA, and they'll just use that to reproduce. They'll make more of themselves. And it's shown graphically here, where the virus is interacting with the host's DNA or RNA to just make more viruses, and they get released. This can involve lysing the cell. This can involve targets that are rendered inactive. Uh, for example, that can completely screw up your immune system etc. So they are pretty serious. Or perhaps not as serious. It doesn't mean they always are. The common cold is a virus. I do encourage you to watch this video if you get a chance. It's only about five minutes long and it does cover things at a pretty deep level. Don't be uh, misled by these cute little animations. Let's identify the main parts of a virus. Viruses can have all sorts of appearances, but if we're looking at one that looks like this, it has a protein coat on the outside, perhaps some enzymes within this thing here that's called the capsid container there and it's always got either some DNA or some RNA. If it has RNA we call it a retrovirus. Let's take a look at how they can interact with the flu virus and I'm dealing with the antivirals here. The main act the main approach to coming up with an anti-anything for uh, a medicinal chemist is, generally speaking, to kill it without killing you. So we need to see some sort of essential part of the virus that can be attacked that will be benign to us. In the case of the flu virus, they're typically looking at a specific flu enzyme. We won't go into much detail there, but that has led to the development of Tamiflu as well as Relenza, and then there's the structures here. Note the relatively small molecular weight, so it can be taken as a pill. Notice the water solubility by the NH and OH groups. Notice the complexity, as alluded to by these chiral centers here, which means these would be very difficult to synthesize, meaning you may want to go semi-synthetically and look for some sort of natural product to start from. That'll be the topic of another lecture. This is an introduction to antivirals.